All right, welcome to another video, my friends. It has been a while. So it recently came to my attention that in 2019, out of all the countries in the world, Spain was ranked as the healthiest. This was according to something known as the Bloomberg Healthiest Country Index, which grades and ranks countries based on a number of factors, such as life expectancy, tobacco use, blood pressure, obesity, sanitation, availability of clean water, and causes of mortality. Based on these criteria, each country is given a grade out of 100. And in the 2019 ranking, Spain scored a whopping 92.75 out of 100, making it the healthiest country in the world. Now, one of the areas where Spain really shines is life expectancy. The average lifespan in Spain is 83.5 years, which is currently the highest in the European Union. In addition to that, it's forecasted that by the year 2040, Spain may very well have the highest average lifespan in the world, followed by Japan, Singapore and Switzerland. And so the question I've been wondering is, why Spain? You know, what is it about Spain that sets it apart from other countries? That's what I'm going to explore throughout the rest of this video. I'm going to cover 10 possible reasons that may help to explain this. Okay, the first thing worth noting is that a lot of people in Spain follow a Mediterranean diet. And there are a number of things about this way of eating that may contribute to health. First of all, it includes plenty of healthy fats. These come from foods like olives, olive oil, a variety of nuts and seeds, and a wide range of fish. These foods are sources of monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, which when combined are beneficial for heart health, reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease, brain health, and many other benefits. So that's the first possible reason. The Mediterranean diet includes plenty of healthy fats. The next possible reason is also to do with the Mediterranean diet, and that is a lot of people in Spain eat fruit and vegetables every day. For instance, about 73% of Spanish consumers eat fruit every day, and about 47% eat vegetables every day. Compare that to a country such as the United States of America, where only 10% of adults eat enough fruit and vegetables. So that's the second possible reason. A lot of people in Spain eat fruit and vegetables every day. The third possible reason is to do with alcohol consumption, particularly red wine and beer, both of which are very popular among people in Spain. Substantial research indicates that if drank in moderation, red wine and beer are both associated with a number of benefits. Now, I emphasize drinking these in moderation because if drank in excess, alcohol can cause problems. So we're really talking about like a glass of red wine with your dinner or a beer to wind down in the evening. That's what I mean by moderation. So that's the third possible reason. Red wine and beer are popular in Spain and both are associated with numerous benefits. The fourth possible reason is the final one about diet. And that is many people in Spain eat their biggest meal of the day at lunchtime. And so their final meal of the day in the evening tends to be quite small. Like they might have some tapas or a salad or something like that in the evening. Now, the research isn't conclusive on this, but it is certainly possible that by not eating a large meal close to their bedtime, this may be beneficial for Spanish people's health. So that's the fourth possible reason. Their biggest meal of the day is lunchtime and their final meal tends to be small. Okay, that's it for diet. Now we'll move on to another area that Spain is well known for, and that is the climate. Now, the climate in Spain varies in different parts of the country. But as a whole, Spain is regarded as the sunniest country in Europe. And many parts of Spain get more than 300 days of sunshine each year. Now, in relation to why a sunny climate can be beneficial for people's health, there are a number of possible reasons. First of all, there's vitamin D, which we get from sunshine. Now, this isn't scientifically proven, but it's reasonable to assume that by living in a sunny climate, Spaniards may be more likely to get sufficient vitamin D. And vitamin D is known to strengthen the immune system, contribute to bone health, lower the risk of cancer, as well as many other benefits. So that's the fifth possible reason. By living in a warm climate, Spaniards may be more likely to get sufficient vitamin D. The next reason a warm climate may promote health is to do with a slower pace of life. You know, warm weather does tend to slow people down. And many parts of Spain are known for having 
a more relaxed pace of life compared to other countries. And so it is quite possible that living at a slower pace may lead to lower stress levels and that may contribute to health over the long term. So that's the sixth possible reason. Living in a warm climate leads to a slower pace of life. Number seven is also related to the climate, but is ultimately a separate point. What I'm talking about now is physical activity. Now, on average, Spaniards don't do a lot of strenuous physical activity, but they tend to do a lot of low intensity stuff. For example, Spain has the highest percentage of walkers out of all countries in Europe. In one report, it was estimated that 37% of Spaniards walk or cycle to work. Again, compare that to the USA, where only 6% of people walk or cycle to work. Now, again, it has to be mentioned that the climate is a big factor when it comes to these statistics. You know, living in a warm climate is simply more suitable for a physically active outdoors kind of lifestyle. So that's the seventh possible reason. Spaniards do a lot of low intensity exercise, particularly walking and cycling. The eighth possible reason is to do with family ties. A lot of people in Spain have close family ties. You know, they maintain close relationships with their immediate family, which has been shown repeatedly to bolster physical health. This is largely due to the fact that feeling well supported by other people lowers a person's stress levels, which as I alluded to earlier, is very important for health. So that's the eighth possible reason. A lot of people in Spain have close family ties. Number nine is also to do with relationships. As well as family ties, Spaniards are great at socializing and meeting up with friends. And a strong sense of community pervades Spanish society. You know, Spaniards are generally very social people. And again, research does indicate that being socially connected contributes to physical health. So that's the ninth possible reason. As well as family ties, Spaniards are great at socializing and meeting up with friends. Okay, the final possible reason, number 10, is to do with the Spanish public healthcare system. Public healthcare in Spain has an excellent reputation. You know, based on my research, it seems to be very high quality, with modern clinics and surgeries and highly competent medical staff. Now, in addition to being high quality, public healthcare in Spain is free, provided that you pay into the Spanish social security system. So in other words, people in Spain who are working and paying taxes all get free access to excellent public health care. So that's the final possible reason. The public health care system in Spain is of very high quality and it seems to be working very well for them. So those are the 10 reasons. If you think I left anything out or you'd like to add something to the discussion, do share your thoughts in the comments below. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who'd be interested. And remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That is it for this video, my friends. Thank you very much for tuning in as always. And I look forward to talking to you again in the next one.